Last year, there was a pitch to bring an independent minor league baseball team here to Murfreesboro, but they had to figure out where to build a new baseball diamond. One of the finalist locations was here at historic Cannonsburg Village. The house in the very front that they use as the visitor center. My family, we lived in that house. For Lisa Sisko, coming to Cannonsburg Village isn't just about revisiting the past. It's about protecting this ode to Murfreesboro's founding for the future. We're not against baseball. We just don't want Cannonsburg to be replaced by that. That's what Lisa told us last year when word spread that an ownership group was eyeing this land to bring an independent minor league baseball team to the borough. Oh yeah, I was so upset. But now Lisa has changed teams, so to speak. It's going to be beautiful. She's still all about saving Cannonsburg. They're doing some renderings of this ballpark and it is, it's going to knock your socks off. But now team ownership has clarified the project won't replace or relocate the village, it'll actually incorporate it. Going through that village will be the entrance to the ballpark. You know, they're going to have people enter over the bridge that's there that got moved from the Smyrna area. We won't be getting a first pitch anytime soon. The city of Murfreesboro would have to approve the location and funds to build the stadium. It will be a public and private partnership where the baseball team will become a renter of that stadium. But if this plan does get around the bases, I think I might become a baseball fan. Lisa will be rooting it on. I really think if we want to save Cannonsburg, this is this is going to be the best thing. Because she wants to keep celebrating Murfreesboro's past well into the future. There's a lot of people that have lived here a long time. They don't even know what that is. With photojournalist Dan Blommel, Chris Davis, News Channel 5.